Here's some food for thought. Julian Assange is being made an example of to threaten all of you into silence. What has happened to Julian is what they are showing you will become of you if you tell the truth. This is why we must tell the truth in our millions across the globe. They cannot incarcerate us all. There's just no room. The genocide of the Palestinians happening before our eyes and is waking people up one by one to a realisation that truth in the ruling class is just not wanted. Only their version is, and when you are not living the truth, then you are living a lie. To tell the truth reveals their actions of abuses against all of us. Those who turn a blind eye to it, saying this doesn't affect me, needs to also wake up to the fact that it does. It really, really does. In Parliament yesterday, we saw an MP bravely stand up and say that people are being deliberately starved to death. The reply from the Tories was to say that she is saying this wrong and twisted the reality into their version, saying the Palestinians are starving without saying Israel is starving them. These people have bunkers to go to if there was a disaster, natural or otherwise. Not one of these people will care about your life. They're showing us what they think about life versus their love of money. They're neutralising the narrative as if what's happening is a natural world disaster They're, where nothing no, and nobody is to blame. We know who is to blame, but those saying it will get cancelled. If what is happening in the world doesn't shake you, then nothing will. I see people get bored with the Palestinian plight and the way that the politicians are responding, believing none of this stuff is directly important to their own lives. They may say that we should be focusing on our own. Yes, what they've been doing in the UK is disgusting, and it is the very same people who are sending bombs to drop on babies, who are making policies who will do things like privatise our NHS. Most of you will blindly vote for Labour thinking that he is slightly better, but he won't be better at all. What he stands for is far worse. Those who fund him are the same people burning children's faces off, accepting the use of white phosphorus, just like Tony Blair did in Iraq. Think about it. Take care for now.